Hi everyone, my name is Daryl Diosamito and I am a Senior Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I will be providing you with an overview of AWS Data Sync Enhanced Mode tasks and a look at our updated metrics that you can use to inform your data transfer projects. Let's get started. AWS Data Sync is an online data movement service that simplifies and accelerates data migrations to AWS as well as moving data to and from on-premises storage, other cloud providers, and AWS storage services. DataSync is designed to be fast using parallel optimized transfer protocol. It is easy to use with built-in features such as scheduling, data filtering, and incremental data transfers. DataSync is secure and reliable, encrypting data in flight while providing data integrity verification, in addition to reporting. As a fully managed service, DataSync takes care of securely connecting to AWS storage services and integrates with common AWS management tools such as CloudWatch and CloudTrail. DataSync launched a new task type called Enhanced Mode Tasks. Enhanced Mode Tasks are designed for datasets that consist of a virtually unlimited number of files and provide higher performance than previous DataSync Basic Mode Tasks. Enhanced mode tasks provide additional metrics and reporting that are especially useful for customers in migration scenarios to help you track and monitor your ongoing progress. In this demo, I am going to walk through what the DataSync console displays and discuss the metrics provided when running an enhanced mode task. I started a DataSync enhanced task for transfers between two Amazon S3 buckets. The source bucket contains 200,000 objects, and the destination has 20,000 existing objects that have already been transferred with DataSync. I previously ran a DataSync task that transferred these 20,000 source objects to the destination bucket so that you can see the various metrics provided for different scenarios. What you can see in the console is DataSync processing the data on the source S3 bucket and it is incrementing files listed at the source. As the task continues, you can see it starts preparing them for transfer and it is incrementing the prepared counter as well. It's also showing you that some of the files are being skipped. While the task is going through and finding files at the source, it also identifies that some of the files already exist at the destination. It is skipping them as it has identified that the files are identical at the source and destination, so they do not need to be transferred. As the task continues to run, you can see files are being transferred and verified, and all of these phases are happening in parallel. At this point, you can see DataSync has listed all 200,000 files at the source. The prepare counter continues to increment while skipping and transferring objects as it identifies whether or not they need to be transferred. The prepare phase compares files on the source and destination. The comparison operation is looking at metadata such as timestamps, the size of the files, and performs checksums if required. Here, you can see the prepare phase stops at 180,000 files. Of the 200,000 files that were listed at the source, 20,000 of them already existed at the destination from the previous task run. The remaining 180,000 were prepared and sent to the transfer phase. As transferring continues, you can see the data throughput continue to climb. The task reaches throughput of approximately 650 megabytes per second, which is roughly 5 gigabits per second. Once the task is complete, it has listed 200,000 files, prepared 180,000, skipped 20,000, and transferred and verified 180,000 files and ended with a success status. To learn more, visit the DataSync documentation page where you can get detailed information on enhanced mode tasks to help you get started today. 